Hi Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I really appreciate all of your love and support. In this reading, we're going to find out the person on your mind, their current feelings for you. And today is the 26th of July, 2023. Time here in Hoi An, Vietnam. <coughs> Excuse me. It's 3.25 a.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. If you were to finally guide to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same sign. Spirits and angels, please show me for Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, the person on your mind right now. What are their current feelings for them? Please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and the person on your mind. And also think about the person that you like to know right now their current feelings for you. Knight of Wands and Ruffers at, uh, at the bottom of the deck. The person in your mind could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or a Leo, okay? Now I'm going to speak very slow slowly and softly <laughs> it's like three something in the morning right now i overslept i slept a little bit too early and then i overslept <laughs> and now i'm wide awake so i thought i'll just do some readings but anyway bear with me okay and yeah i don't want to wake anybody up and speaking too loudly but we've got the three of wands here in reverse person on your mind is unsure with the two of pentacles right here look look at this row right here three of wands in reverse page of swords the person on your mind could also be a libra gemini aquarius two of pentacles right here they're unsure if you've turned your back on them or not or they could go it could go vice versa they could be feeling unsure whether they should turn their back on you or not but Page of Swords, one thing for sure is that they've been spying on you or that they've been keeping taps on you, okay? Watching, also waiting, trying to decide, or that they could be waiting for you to try and decide about them, about something that's going on between the two of you, um, or about this connection in general. Because they feel like with the Emperor and the Justice, that this is important. So they could be in the midst of making a decision between you and something else or between you and someone else if this is a romantic connection. Because the three of wands sometimes can indicate it could be a third party, right? A third party could be another person, another lover, or it could be external factors. It could be anything, but there's something that's coming in between the two of you that they feel perhaps they need to choose, right? These two pentacles indicates a choice as well. Hmm. They feel that it is important that they need to make this decision because we've got the ace of pentacles. Because they're also serious about this new start. Serious about this offer. Or that they feel you you are indecisive, you're taking your time, you're trying to make a decision in regards to them, in regards to a new start, okay? For the both of you. And and you know, a pentacle is something solid, something physical, something valuable. So they feel like this is if they were to offer you something here, that's it. They have to see it through. Or that they feel that if you were to offer them something, then it's important to you and that you have to see it through. <clears throat> and then we've got the page of wands here in our first. The person on your mind, again, could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Five pentacles here is in our first. It's like they're, they feel like they need to see if you're going to be by their side, if you're going to be if you're going to stick through, stick with them through thick and thin, yeah. And 
eight of pentacles here is in love first is it worth it for them to turn it back on something else that they've put a lot of energy and time into right because the page of swords again is like gathering a lot of information trying to be smart about this and whenever and whenever swords are up it can indicate also someone is being defensive somebody is trying to protect themselves right if you go to war and if the sword is up that means you're ready to fight that that means you don't want to get hurt right you are defending yourself it's a weapon so this person could be feeling as though um, that they need to protect themselves they need to defend themselves mm -hmm. unless they feel like you need to defend yourself you need to protect yourself that's why you've been indecisive about them with the two of pentacles hmm the justice here i do sense them feeling like they want to do the right thing they don't want to put in a lot of time and effort into the situation unless it is the right thing to do the emperor is them feeling like they need to be responsible they need to step up unless it's it's vice versa them feeling as though you need to step up you need to be serious you need to do the right thing again vice versa okay let's pull out a few more cards three of pentacles yeah they want to see also if this can work out if this can be fixed if something has happened between two of you if not it's just them feeling like hey i'll be a good team can we work together and we've got these six of swords right here this is like returning or sticking around okay if you're separated from this person they could be feeling as though maybe things can be fixed yeah maybe i should return or that they could be feeling like you should return to try and fix things with them but if there's no separation between you and this person they could be feeling like okay maybe i just want to stick around and i really want to see if uh, the situation improves or if both of you can work well as a team and then with the nine of wands and one first until then i'm not going to take actions or serious actions so this person has been just the person in mind has just been watching again page of wands he is in love first yeah i'm just gonna stick around and see what's up because i do sense them taking this very a little bit too seriously okay the situation you or this connection now we've got the sorry if you can hear i'm like rubbing my legs it's because there are <laughs> there are mosquitoes here and i think they're biting me but anyway the king of swords here in my verse yeah they're unclear yet they don't want to make a decision that quickly or jump into conclusion because yeah the chariot is right here again another major kind so it's important for them um, to make this decision or to move forward with this connection or with this situation they're serious right but then at the same time they're still not 100% sure yet right two of pentacles and the chariot is them getting ready so i feel like it's leaning towards more positive than negative their feelings for you but again they just need to make sure right they need to protect themselves they need to make sure that they're smart about this that they're not going to be left out in the cold that you're somebody reliable and that you are going to be with them through it feels like a very testy energy they could be testing you they could be feeling i need to test them but not in a bad way okay doesn't feel that way unless it's them feeling like you're testing them right and we've got the six of cups here in love first it could be related to bad memories bad experiences in the past 
Hence, the person in your mind could be very protective over themselves, or that they feel maybe you've had bad experiences and that you need to protect yourself. Hence, you have been behaving this way or acting a certain way, acting very defensive or asking them a lot of questions, especially if this is someone kind of new in your life, someone you're trying to get to know better, unless this is someone from your past. If this is someone from your past, they feel like, okay, they need to make moves, okay? They need to get ready, make moves to return uh, because the chariot is a form of transportation. Either it's them feeling like they need to physically take actions towards you, go to see you, travel towards you if they live far away, or Mm, that they feel you need to take actions towards them, okay? We've got the eight of wands right here. Okay, they feel like they need to move forward with you or that they need to talk to you. Eight of wands is a communication card for me and can indicate distance, can indicate forward movement. Two cards that indicates a shift forward movement. So, um... Again, it feels, more, it feels more positive than negative. Even if both of you are separated, they feel like they need to talk to you. They need to fix things with you because it's important for them. Because they want to have a new start with you. And they're serious, very, very serious. They want to step up. Although they feel, if it's vice versa, they feel like you need to talk to them. You need to step up instead, okay? But if you're not separated from this person, and it's kind of new. They feel like they want to keep talking. They want to keep moving. Right, because they do see a potential in this situation, in this connection. All right, what are signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio? This is your reading. I hope you, hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Feel free to subscribe to my other channel. It's called Chelsea Vlogs. It's my travel channel. And for those of you who like to be notified every time when I post your videos and every time when I go live, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. Take care. Bye.